you don't you never get hold of uh or tired of hearing that um selection call that you get from um from the head coach um yeah I'm really pleased you know I think had you told me back in Sydney in 2000 when I was 18 that I'd go on to be competing 21 years later at my sixth Paralympics I probably would have laughed in your face but <laughs> um but yeah yeah it, it's just incredible and yeah I really can't wait to to get out there yeah massively you know I hold my um my performances in the high stead and I guess it's not pressure I just put a lot of expectation on myself to to kind of replicate that um I am uh, like a championship performer so and I guess I've had a great formula for competing in in the past and um and it's worked well and I put every kind of um expectation on myself to try and peak at the right time for this games and we've kind of hit hit a, a plan um for this year our plan was to come out and throw for fairly big early on and then we go into some heavier training and hopefully the second peak will be be bang on in September when it's needed. So, um, but yeah, you know, um, the sixth Paralympic Games, I know that a couple of years ago, I got tweeted a message um, about the possibility of setting a new record that would be the first British ath- athlete or in, in athletics um, on the para side to medal at six consecutive games. I think Tani's been to five and Stephen Miller's been to six, but didn't medal in London. So, yeah, to kind of set a record as well, if I can walk away with a medal, would be just absolutely fantastic. And it's those kind of things that motivate me as well. And, you know, not just the kind of medal around the neck is to try and help inspire other athletes and um, people who want to get into the sport. To Those kind of things really help um, bolster the, the profile of the sport as well. Yeah, massively. Um, you know, it, it's huge motivation and... And when I kind of saw it, it it really gave me a lift, and 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 it's you just you just need every little piece of piece of the puzzle. Um, we all strive for the bling around the neck and to get onto the podium. And um, I think like I'm I'm pretty old school in in the fact that um, I'm all about performance, and I know if I trust my, the process and I stay injury free and I train as hard as possible and and put a good performance in. And if somebody beats me on the end of the day, or three other people beat me on the end of the day, and I know that I've done enough myself then I'm, I know I can't disagree with that, but and that, that's where I think like um, why I've medaled at every Paralympics that I've attended is because, you know, I tend to put my performance first and then if it's enough, it's enough. You know, people can have bad days, people have good days, but if, I know if I can do everything in my capacity to try and win a medal and, and perform and get the timing right, because it's so hard. I was explaining to someone the other day to on one given day, you know, in preparation for four years, you've, you know, you've got to get it right on that one day. And, and it is really, really tough to do. It's really hard to peak. And I've been able to master it over the years and learn from mistakes and take positives and stuff. So I'm hoping this year that we, we come together and everything will be all right. Yeah. And I can get that sixth medal, say.